During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk a little bit about soil temperatures and planting and about all the confusion out there because a lot of people say there's a certain soil temp to planting and I don't really believe that. Here's the thing, if you're talking about planting your garden, I think it's very important that you let that soil warm up and, and you have everything just right before you do it because you're going to plant this small little area. It's food that you want to eat, so you want to make sure there's absolutely no chance it's going to fail. And you know, really, in most gardens, how many people are applying fungicides to control soil-borne diseases or insecticide to control the little worms and bugs that are in the soil? Not very many. When we're talking about a field situation, planting corn or wheat or soybeans or something along those lines, it's a little different story than just your small garden at home. Well, here's what it comes down to. A lot of times when, when we start talking about planting corn, because that's usually the first crop uh, of corn and soybeans that gets planted in the spring. Now, there's wheat that gets planted earlier, wheat even in the fall, like winter wheat that could be planted, but wheat can handle really cold conditions. So let's talk mainly about corn here today. Over the years, a lot of people have said, you've got to wait until the soil temperature is 50 degrees, then you can plant your corn. Here's the whole problem with that. It could be the 1st of April in our region, and the soil temperature at that point actually could be 50 degrees. If we have a nice sunny day like today, you know what, theoretically, you could go out and plant your corn. So the only problem is, it's the 1st of April. If you look on the calendar, the calendar is going to tell you, hey, it's too early to plant corn. Crop insurance doesn't cover us till April 10th. And more importantly than that, if you look at when our average last frost date is, it's going to be mid-May. So there's a great chance that if I plant the corn the 1st of April, it's going to come out of the ground and it's going to freeze and get killed or damaged in early or mid-May. And the other side of that too is when you're talking about planting corn, like on our farm, we may have 1,500 acres of corn. And you say, wow. You know, how much do I want to chance that planting on the early side? And by the same token, if I wait for everything to warm up and I wait until the 1st of May, for example, before I start planting, there's no way I'm going to get all those acres in in the next week that, or two. That's the whole thing. So I always tell farmers, forget about the soil temperature. In fact, I want a colder soil temperature, and I'll tell you why. If we do have a warm <laughs> soil temperature, a contrarian, I Brad. am. But, <laughs> you know, we can go out there and start planting, according to Crop Insurance, April 10th, and we hope to do that on our farm if the ground is fit. So we don't want guys going out there and mudding their crop in, you know, going out planting it in the mud, no, that doesn't especially work. Especially on the early side, that's right. really crazy. But anyway, what, what I'm getting at here is, if the ground is fit on April 10th, we're gonna go plant April 10th, and I hope it's really cold. I hope the soil temperature is 30 <laughs> degrees, I do. I, and the reason why is because I don't want that corn coming out of the ground until mid-May. We've got a lot of corn to plant on our farm. It takes the average farmer out there a couple of weeks to get his corn planted. So we can't get it all done in a day, like you can in the garden. We can't pick the perfect day. Would I like to plant it all April 10th? No way. I'd like to plant it all, you know, probably in late April, but I know I've got to get started April 10th if I'm going to get done by the 1st of May when I think the ideal window is for planting corn in our region. So really, it's not just looking at a soil temperature probe to determine when you're going to start planting. It's having a little bit of common sense, looking at what your historical weather's been over the years and saying, man, it makes no sense for me to go hog wild on planting corn April 1st in South Dakota. But, you know, if we're towards the end of April and you say, wow, that soil temp's a little bit cool. I've got a lot of acres to do. I don't really care what the soil temperature probe says. I'm going to go stick the corn in the ground, and in a few weeks, it's going to come up just fine. The reason why this is so important is not only do we want the farmer to get his job done, we want the farmer to get maximum yield, to provide the most food for our entire country. And statistics have shown that you greatly increase your yield when you plant early. So in our region, the ideal planting date is probably around the 20th or 25th of April. That's when we'd like to have most of our corn in somewhere in that range. Well, if you go out and plant most of your corn May 15th, you know what? Yeah, the soil temperature is warmer, but our yield now is going to go down on average. So if you have a real small farming operation, maybe just 100 acres or two, and, and you can get everything planted in a day or two, you know, don't worry about it. We aren't going to push you to go early. I don't think it makes sense for you. You can wait till things warm up and everything's perfect out there. Just like the guys with gardens. If you've got a garden that you can plant in just a day or two, you know, don't worry about it. Wait till everything's just right and that's fine for you. But for the guy with a larger operation or something that's going to take a couple of weeks to get planted, you have to get started early because you never know when you're going to have some weather delays along the way and you won't get things in on time. Well, another thing it's important to get started early with is weed control especially if you've got our Weed of the Week. Can you identify it? 